In this video, we want to give just a light introduction to differential equations. We'll have a lot more to say about differential equations over the course of the next few videos. But in this video, we just want to uh, kind of explain what a differential equation is, what are we trying to do with them, and, and that sort of thing. So we'll, we'll start this way. Uh, real life and environmental models often yield equations that have derivatives of some mystery function. Yeah, that's, that's what makes problems interesting in the real world is that things change over time, whether it be water flow or objects falling or the stock market or whatever. What, what makes problems interesting, what makes them real life problems is that, is that something's changing over time. We want to figure out uh, just basically how it all works, right? How, how is it that things change over time? But if you think about it, what, what does it mean to, to change over time? That's, that's a rate of change you're changing either the the height over time or the volume over time and that that feels like and is a derivative right because what what does a derivative tell you it tells you rise over run or the rate of change of a function over time and, and so that that means that these equations that model so many real life events have derivatives in them it, it's only natural and we'll look at a few in, in just a little bit and if an equation has a derivative in it, then it's called a differential equation. It, it almost sounds too simple, and, it, and it, it is. So it's very simple. If you have an equation that has a derivative in it of any kind, then we call that guy a differential equation. This is a, a massively popular topic. Most colleges and universities have a whole course de, uh, designated just to differential equations. I'd encourage you to take it if uh, if you get the chance at some point uh, let me just start off giving you just a very simple basic example let's say we had an apple and it fell from a tree now what what's observable to to somebody uh, watching this happen they're not going to immediately get a function that gives the height of the apple at a certain time that that's just not that's not an observable uh, observable thing what's observable is this apple falling so we see it falling and then uh, we, we can see what's happening to it and what's observable is actually that the acceleration is constant i mean we can observe that we're but like i said we're not going to come up with some function that at time zero it's at this height at time one it's at this height at time two seconds it's at this height so on and so forth but we can observe that the acceleration uh, of this guy is um is constant all right, and it's negative because it's uh, falling. And so this would be called a differential equation. It's an equation that we observe based off of a real life event that contained a derivative. But now what, what's our goal? What, what are we trying to do here? <clears throat> We're trying to figure out who the original function is. That, that's really our goal. Uh, what, what is h of t? That's, that's what we're actually after. What's the original function that models the height of the apple at a given time? And so this one is very short and sweet, and I think we can all figure out what we need to do here. Let me ask you, how would you retrieve the original function, the original h of t? Well, if this is in effect h double prime, that, that's really what this is, is the second derivative of h, we can integrate it two times to get the original back. And that's precisely what we do. Let's do it. Um, step one is to integrate both sides and you would get h prime equals negative gt, since it's a constant, plus c, if you will. I put plus c1 because just in a minute we're gonna have a, a c2. But uh, yeah, plus a constant from, from the constant of integration. All right, and then we're going to integrate a second time to get the original h of t back. So we get negative g over 2 squared plus c1t plus c2 because g and c1 are constants. And so um, they're just tag along constants when we, when we integrate. So anyways, uh, what we just found here, this guy is the solution to this original differential equation. Now, what does that mean? <clears throat> that means that if you take this guy and stick it in the differential equation, it'll be true. In other words, what is this guy's second derivative? You do the math, it would be negative g, right? It would be negative g. So this guy models the height of the apple falling at any given time based off of some initial conditions like initial height and you know and that sort of thing uh, we won't go into any of those details in this video but you get the idea you get the idea we start with an equation that has derivatives 
and our goal is to figure out what function makes it true. All right, so let's make this a little more formal. Our goal is to find a function that satisfies the differential equation, the equation that has derivatives in it. Uh, in more common terms, we would say this makes the equation true when it's substituted for the dependent variable or any of the dependent variable derivatives, obviously. Okay, so here's a, a more abstract example. Uh, we have an equation and it has some derivatives in it. This is a differential equation and we quickly see how difficult these can be. What's the solution for this guy? Now, wh what is it that we're even looking for? Where we're, we're looking for a function uh, of x such that if you take this guy, which I don't know who he is right at this moment, but if you substitute this in for y and, uh, no, well, sorry, not this, but um, you find y prime and y double prime, and you take y double prime and substitute it in appropriately for the second derivative, it would make this equation really be true. It would, these two combined would be x squared plus two. Man, that's almost impossible just to dream up what, you know, what that function should be. Now it'll take us some time to figure out how to go about solving these or whatnot. That's not really the point of this video. Uh, for this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you the answer and then um, you know, we'll take a look and just verify that it really works. Uh, so again, I'm not explaining how I got this answer, but there's some techniques that have been discovered over the years that we don't have to come up with. We can just use what's already been discovered and uh, based off of um, some characteristics of this differential equation, you can solve it one of a number of different ways. And so I did that for this example, and here's what I got. I got that y should be sine of x plus x squared. Totally not clear from the beginning, but uh, nevertheless, I think this would be true. Um, if this is y, then y prime would be equal to cosine of x plus two x, and y double prime would be equal to negative sine x uh, plus two. Now I'm not gonna take the time to do this in this video, but I encourage you to. Take this and substitute it for y, and take y double prime, negative sine x plus two, and substitute it for y double prime, and see, ask yourself, does this really equal x squared plus two? And I think you'll find that it does. I'm not gonna take the time to write it all out, but my point is is that yes, this will be a solution to the differential equation. So, th so that's our goal, is to come up with some techniques that will discover what the original functions were that satisfy differential equations. Now, what techniques will be used to do this? Well, there's a number of different techniques. One, one of the clearer ones, which isn't always the case, but um, where is it? That example we did before. Uh, oftentimes, if you have a derivative, simple integration will bring back the answer. And, uh, and there's also another uh, a number of other kind of less obvious techniques that also work. Integration doesn't always work, uh, as like in this example. You know, how would integration work if you have a y? and a y double prime, and others may also have a y prime. And so we can't always use integration, but that's just one idea of how these will work. So we still have a, a number of uh, questions left um, you know, that we're gonna talk about over the course of the next few videos, but hopefully this j just gives you a good, I guess, base of what a differential equation is and what is it that we're trying to do with these guys.